Behind me is the FBI field office in Salt Lake City, but the lab isn't actually here. It's in the gateway in a very unsuspecting building, and you'd never know that men and women work there every day to solve some of the biggest cases you've heard of. In a digital world, a lot of high-profile cases need experts to gather evidence. You know, we cover Utah, Montana, and Idaho. And with high-profile cases like the Daybells, Since the FBI found the bodies of his wife. They call a special team right here in Salt Lake. The homicide up at the U, Lauren McCluskey, we've worked on that. The police department handled Lauren McCluskey's extortion. Josh Powell, you know, obviously that's a huge case. Was suspected of kidnapping and killing Susan. Many of the cases that are out there uh, that people, have, you know, rise to the level where people hear about it do, do end up here. In an office building in the heart of the Gateway, the Intermountain West Regional Computer Forensics Laboratory, run by the FBI, works to solve cases. Our job is to do digital forensics, examinations on computers, phones, uh, drones, you know, whatever has digital evidence. Their job comes down to this. So when you delete a file, you're not really deleting it. And they're one of only 17 digital forensics laboratories across the country. So any law enforcement agency in Montana, Idaho, or Utah can submit digital evidence to us. They handle things like these computers, hard drives, and even special pouches to cut off phones from the outside world. And while all this might seem like a TV show. Like shows like that, you know, everything gets wrapped up in 60 minutes or 30 minutes, right? Unfortunately, I wish it was that fast, but it's not. This takes far more time and expertise to get it right to make sure that justice is served. The services that we provide are, are really crucial. We want to help put, punish people or put them in jail if, if they're guilty. One of the biggest reasons they wanted to let us into this lab is to show us that all of this stuff, technology, is a part of our everyday lives and it often holds the key to solving criminal investigations. In Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News. You